Hey guys, what's up? Tremaine Hayhoe here. I'm here with two awesome content creators. To my left, we've got D Sharp in this thing. What's up, guys? I am D Sharp here with my boy Hey Ho. Yes. Why am I giving another introduction? <laughs> we anyway, need to introduce each other. Glad, right, glad before to be here. We introduce. And yeah. I'm Jeremy Alinsky. Yeah. And that's all there is to say about me. Jeremy Alinsky. I was a big It fanatic for a long time, so I was looking forward for this movie coming out. Huge fanatic. He, big, huge, huge. Annoying fanatic. Yes. yes. All my losers out there, I'm representing. Losers. All um, my losers. Reading the... I'm still not done with the book. Wait, okay. Well, we didn't even say what we're here to do. Yeah. What are we here for? What are we here for? We're here for... It. Review. It. Review. We're here to review it. Because mm -hmm. we just saw it. We did. We saw it. And Finally. September 7th. It's the day before it's even out. Yeah. How did somehow, that even happen? How, how do we get to see it before... You know, it's kind of like how Black Friday deals are starting like earlier and earlier every year. Yeah. yeah. It's like they started like... Like on Thursday, like a few years ago. Now yeah. it's like you can get them on like the week of. Now it's like the whole month of November you can get the Black Friday deals. Yeah. So it's like that. My like biggest guess, just... my, my biggest guess was that like somewhere in the world, 7 a.m. on the 7th is 12 o'clock. Yes. Eight. Or like it right. turned 8. So to avoid spoilers. Oh, no, that's what it is. Because I think that's what it is. Because they're like, oh, it's a midnight showing, a midnight release. Right. And then what they do is they're like, oh, well, people aren't are gonna fall asleep at midnight so mm. um there's a well, lot maybe, of action or maybe we were, maybe we were able to watch it at, at seven here to watch it because but no it's only it's only it. 10 on the east coast though so i was about to say maybe they wanted all the people that to be able to watch it at the same time to watch so it like basically once it turns 12 but no, that would have been that would have meant we, we would yeah. see it at night to avoid so, i actually don't know why i don't know me neither don't know there's no, a no, reason that's no this it's is really the reason this is the reason we're here guys this is the reason it's because oh, it, if it's too late they don't want people to be falling asleep or having it too late plus right. the whole theater plus the whole parking lot situation they yeah. don't want people to be at the theater too late that's why they make it so right. then they start Literally. doing nasty okay. things yeah and that's right all right so that's why we saw it today we got this yes. That's why we saw it today. Yeah, so maybe you should. Uh, first half is gonna be non spoiler. Yeah. So okay. So we're gonna go first half. Talk about the movie. What we thought of it. How we liked it, or if we didn't like it. And then the second half will be spoiler alert. Spoiler. Alert. Yes. Which I guess you don't really spoil much because it is the based on based on something that's already been out. Yes. And but still, they don't know what. Yeah, movie. they changed yeah. enough and they added new right. things to true, the point where it, it would spoil. It, you could spoil someone. So, <clears throat> all right, first reaction, guys. What, what do you, what are you guys' thoughts? Who's going go first? first? You want to go first? So I liked it. Uh, I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was a good movie. Um, but to me, it wasn't a lot. I mean, wasn't a lot of new things. Like I. I didn't really see a lot of new things. Like, I've seen the whole... Well, it's a remake. Yeah. Well, it's not technically... It's yeah. So, okay, so, so Jeremy knows the whole thing. The R word is actually very... Yeah. In, so, in, so his, in his circle. People is it, are gonna, is it not a remake? People would crucify it for saying it's a remake. remake. Um, I'll, I'll give my opinions on it. <laughs> <laughs> Bas like shit. I know. Basically... It gets serious. Yeah. Basically, um, there was never um, a, a version of it that was made that was very faithful to the source material. So what you saw in the miniseries couldn't go near what the book was able to show. You saw them saying, you know, um, I don't know if this is what this um, well, it's a miniseries. Okay, I think the I think the biggest difference was the older movie was a miniseries that was on TV. Yeah, new movie is a yeah. rated R movie. Right, you so. couldn't do that. You can't do Stephen King justice with an uh, with a PG thirteen miniseries. Right, so. This is almost like the first time it was actually done. And it's called an adaptation. So, yes. right? So, an adaptation. Okay. And, and it's a movie. And okay. a miniseries is not a movie. Fair enough. Now, pers Fair enough. personally <laughs> to me, <laughs> yeah, movie, yeah. miniseries, kind of same thing, like in my yeah. opinion, you know? Right. But, but I understand why they're saying it's not a movie. Because what's the difference between a two part, two hour, each part uh, miniseries and a two part, two hour long uh, movie? movie. 
It's like, acting. It's people. It's, it's, acting, it's people it's, acting. Yeah, directing. It was never shown in a theater, and you know, and okay. no it ice. wasn't ever shown. Well, in a theater. finish. Finish giving us your yes. your thoughts. So, your first initial thoughts. So first initial thoughts. So I, I enjoyed watching it. Um, I enjoyed it. A lot of the stuff was in the trailers, which I I was. I kind of wish wasn't, or I almost wish I didn't see any trailers. Um, but. It was really well done. It was a cool interpretation of Pennywise. Um, I mean, I can go on and on, but my first interpretation was I liked it. And your main thing? I didn't moment. love it, but I liked it. <laughs> okay, so I've, I've been awaiting this film uh, for years, actually, since they first started You know what? Let me go ahead and go, because he's about to get this whole yeah, yeah, lifelong yeah. spew. Yeah, right. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give my, he's right. my he's right. first initiative. <laughs> Have you seen the miniseries? Um, I saw the first part. Part one. Okay. But oh, that's right. We all saw. I did see the first part, but yeah. honestly, I don't really think I was paying much enough attention to it. Uh, watching the first part, um, so I'll just yeah. But um, my I I loved it. I thought it was really good. I was into the whole entire movie. Uh, I thought I saw you know some really cool things happen, really cool scenes, really cool shots. Um, so I I really really thoroughly enjoyed it. Of course, I do have a couple of gripes, which we will get to a little bit later, but thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah. I was here for it, and I, I I enjoyed it. So let's go ahead. And go ahead and okay, okay, yeah. Like I said, um, so, yeah, he's right. I could talk forever, so I'm just going to cut a bunch of stuff I'd like to say. Well, you don't have to cut it. We don't, you know, you can talk as yeah. much as, long as you want. As okay. Like, well, we can kind of get an intro, though. We'll, yeah. We just kind of want to get a feel, a gist of what you thought of it. Okay, so... And then right, we can go dive in. Yeah, right off the bat... Um, I, I pretty much loved every everything about. You ever played Mousetrap, the divers thing? <laughs> anyway, no, sorry. sorry. No, it's totally I'll, cool. I'll put it. Sorry. It's totally you ever cool. played Mousetrap? No, no, no. Did you ever play Mousetrap? Yeah. You see, I, yeah. thank you. There were a lot of thank commercials you. on Mousetrap. It's great. You know. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so. Uh, you mean the movie? What like? No, that is a good movie though. <laughs> It actually is. Oh yeah, Mousetrap. I love that. Movie. Actually, my film major. <laughs> side note, my film major. Um, Doesn't it have Mr. Teacher. Bean in it? Teacher in. I don't know if he is in it or not. Mr. Bean. But um, he like my film major guy. He's like a award winning playwright or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he says that Mousetrap is a perfect movie. Like a wow. perfect film. I yeah. can. S- I'm not about to say all really, that. And like no, but it was crazy. I was like, I'm like, yeah, whatever, because it looks like a goofy like kids movie or whatever. But you look at it, it's phenomenal. It has all the ups and downs. That's yeah. pretty good. Anyway, talking about it. Yeah. So, um, guys, I, I loved it. I loved everything about it. Um, I, I, it's hard for me to say because I've been I've been following this movie for years. Like been said. Excited. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah Not okay. okay. So the things I liked about it is, Don't um, cry. yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. Things I liked about it was, um, it was the mixture of emotions that I felt throughout this film. Oh, it's one a was roller hard. coaster. Man. One was rock hard. I mean, yeah, <laughs> you don't, you're not just gonna go into this movie being it's just scary. You know, like a lot of the times you um, with the horror movies that you see these day, nowadays, it's just Easy. purely trying to scare you. It's constant tense. This had a lot of com- comedic relief. You were laughing one minute, True. next minute you were laughing. You were yeah, the next minute you were laughing your ass off. The next minute you were crying. Laughing. And, um, no, a lot of laughter, actually. Yes. It's very, very funny. It's like a lot of jokes. But it was like 90% jokes. It was really welcome. I got scared. I cried. I came. I I know, it was a big, long Just laughing, crying, and coming the whole entire movie. Hey, no fun. Oh, sorry. Laughing, crying, coming, and and being terrified. Yeah. Um, Now, in terms of the the scares, um, I, I will say that, uh... Um, the scares? They were very unique scares. ways of oh, scaring. Scares. I haven't seen I haven't seen uh, this style of how to, the scares. Hmm. So, like it reminded me of a Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. Which it took takes me back. That's one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Mm. And it was Goonies Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. Goonies mixed. horror movie? No, no, those oh, two mixed. Oh, okay. Like Goonies Stand by Me meets a Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. It was this yeah, film? Yeah, okay. And yes. they're both some of my favorite movies. So yeah. And it was great blend of both I'm just gonna stop talking it did remind me very Goonies ask yeah oh my the chemistry between these kids very Goonies yes it's phenomenal I'm not entirely sure if I've seen Goonies really I just saw guys I just saw Goonies in the past 
uh, year. Okay, and, cool. And I went to the tribute of Richard Linklater, the director of oh, Goonies. Is that? Exactly. The director of Richard Richard Linklater, the director of Goonies, they did a whole tribute to him because he made a lethal weapon weapon movies. He's made a ton of movies. Anyway, they had the Goonies cat like cast there. Oh wow, that's awesome. Uh, they had Corey Feldman. They had uh, who's the guy from Indiana Jones? Doctor like, Doctor Jones, Doctor Jones. Um, anyway, he was in Goonies as well. I was like, oh my gosh, uh, that guy's there. It was legit. It was freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Goonies is a good movie. Goonies is a good movie, it. and that and that has a vibe. <laughs> it have, really has a Goonies vibe. It has a Stand by Me vibe at one point. A Goonies vibe mm. at one point. Uh, stand, stand by Me. Stand by Me. I love that movie. That's yeah. a great Stephen movie. King. Fantastic. That's another is that Stephen, Stephen King? King. That's right. Yeah. Stephen King. Is that Stephen That's King? Right. It was based on Stephen King's um, book, The Body. And oh. um, they just changed the name to Stand By Me. Y'all won't see uh, it. I think that's a better name. But the back body. to it. Well, the body is... Back to it. Back, yeah, well, that's... Back the reason we're talking about oh, that is because it just... It, oh, it, goes. Yeah. It had that vibe. Yeah. It did have that vibe. Yeah, the chemistry between the kids was real. Like, they were real friends. You could tell it. So, so it's, now You can tell it! I just got that pun. Now that we've kind of said a little bit of what we liked, what's one big... Gripe. What main gripe okay, that I you got guys one. have? You want to go with your the story? only gripe that I have is that a lot of the Pennywise clown stuff, you already said that scare stuff, is in the trailer. I have already said that. That's that that, is, that is my biggest. That's my biggest gripe. Yes, oh, really? what my biggest gripe is. Oh, wow. That was yeah. my biggest gripe. I understand. And the thing is, it kind of took me out of it because I'm like, okay, I know what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. I just saw this. I've seen this before. So they did expand and, on and it, the but, fact but that right. I've seen all the shit before. Like I saw it in the miniseries. I've seen you know I've heard of it before. Like okay, this isn't something new. It isn't like mm-hmm. the time period is a little bit later, but it's mm-hmm. still in the past. Like I ha- I haven't seen something that is completely new, uh, you know. But there is a lot to like about it. But those are my gripes. Okay, my only gripe when it comes to the movie it is that. <laughs> I know. I love how official you are. Like, when it like, comes to them. It's just like you have to restate the question yes. when you're being interviewed. You know. At a, anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Well, like I wanted honestly, and this is a really good gripe to have. I wanted more. To be honest with you, that's what I felt the, throughout the whole time. I wanted more Pennywise. I didn't want the movie to end. I was like, no. Why are you ending on me? And like, I, because I am familiar with the source material, I saw some things that were glazed over that I I feel needed more attention. But I also feel like that there's another cut that's coming out. Like, um, like I said earlier, I think the director's cut or the deleted scenes are gonna fill all I that. I do want to see all that stuff because I feel like that'll be. Well, yeah. Um, friends, friends of mine that I've seen in groups because I'm in a bunch of groups um, on Facebook have seen pre-screenings and they seen it again and said, "Oh, where are those scenes we saw in the first screening? You know, there was a couple scenes which we'll get into the spoilers mm-hmm. um, that were cut that oh, I was really looking forward to seeing, damn. and we didn't see those today. So. I feel like the rating that I would give it, I feel like, has potential to rise. Um, and but <laughs> so do but, a lot of things. <laughs> this is we're talking about the common like the viewer here. That's just the going to go and see this movie. Common oh, they the don't common know about, viewer is going to love know it. about any of these deleted scenes. Oh yeah, common they don't viewer. Know. I think the common viewer is going to love it more than the people that read the book, just because they did take liberties. <laughs> okay, look, look, look. I'll say this because I feel like I've been dogging on the on the movie. It, the it movie is better than 9 out of 10 movies that are out. Yeah, definitely. Right now. Yeah, definitely. So, I'll say that. Your turn, D. <laughs> what was your biggest gripe? Oh, yeah, my biggest gripe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that asked the question. <laughs> yeah. Um, my biggest gripe um, was the fact that I wasn't, I never got scared. I'm not like you know, a lot of times when I see, like, a really creepy horror movie, i.e. The Conjuring 2, like, this, that movie had me screwed up for weeks. Dude, that, 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 that movie messed My with mind me. was... I had to have him stay the night. I'm like, do you... I, gonna, never gonna, mind, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll have to watch that movie again. So, it's, it's not... But, I mean, also, it itself well, is I mean, not, it like, is. it was it never was a movie that, It's like, a coming really of age. It was, like, super creepy. It didn't make people kind of scared of cr- clowns and stuff like that, but... Right. It, it's not something that's going to be... It's, it, it's very creepy at parts. It is. But it's not something that's, like, sticking with me. I don't have anything to be afraid to turn off my lights yeah. at home for or, like, afraid to walk through my dark living room. Like, there's nothing like any of that type yeah. of stuff. There was some really cool, like, some creepy figures and creepy characters and stuff like that. But 
nothing really like to the point to like make me scared. Which like, I, that's why I enjoy movie horror movies. Enjoy horror you movies because get like yeah, I'm yeah, like, be I like, like it. You know. Yeah, but the movie itself was really cool. yeah. Let's let's get one thing straight. This is more a coming of age story like the book was about friendship than a horror movie with a coming of age in it, mm. right? It's more mm. it's, it's more of a story mm. of friendship with a scary clown in there. That's and what it, that's it, what it would change. That's like Stephen King's, King's words, right? Right, right, yeah. right. And 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 they really captured that. Like yeah. you yeah, and and I feel like they could have gone the direction to make it super creepy, but honestly, I don't think that I was watching straight off, like, I was, what I was watching, straight I remember reading concept. straight out of the book. Mm-hmm. You know, there were mm-hmm. moments, and they, they took a lot of liberties, too. But that was the spirit of the book. You felt those emotions. The yeah. spirit. And you, yeah, it was exactly the spirit of the book. And I don't think that, I think that's What's about as scary as the book for? is. What are you looking proceed. for? Just proceed, don't mind me over here. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I think that that is about as scary yeah. as the book ever got. So I think it's true to that. Okay, okay. They can make cool. it scary. I think, I but think that's they, not because true. Because the, thing is, the thing is, most people make it like this This movie, the book, is just like so, you know, so I'm hot as... Yeah. Sorry. If you're scared of clowns. But a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people make it like the movie, the book, or whatever, it was like so scary, and they like creeped them out for the... You know, ruin their childhood. For you like, ruined my Stuff childhood. like that, yeah, yeah. you know. And well, I... No, go ahead. I, I was just going to say, like, so the same, uh, I don't know, this might be a little bit spoiler territory. Well, okay, okay. You know what? Should so, we I think it? I think let's get into that, because then we can feel free with what we're saying. So, you yeah, have not honest. seen the movie, so if you have not seen the now movie, is the time you would want to yes. stop Just, just stop video. it. Just give, hey, give it a like, okay? Yes. Give like it a this. subscribe. Subscribe to Hey Ho Studios if you haven't already. Check out the sharp, amazing stuff, amazing content. And also, check out Jeremy Olinsky. Oh. Check him out. Subscribe Please do. to him. Check them, check them both out, guys. Please. Okay, like all their stuff, subscribe. Okay, now get the fuck out. Get out. I'm sorry. <laughs> Leave. Sorry. Excuse okay. Me. If you've seen it, stay. If, if, or if, if you've you seen it, spoilers, stay. stay. If you want right. spoilers, stay. Okay. If you want to hear us un- unabated, stay. Yes. Is that a word? Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. So what I was gonna say. This yeah, is a little. Is now. now we're in spoiler territory. So. Okay. Like what you say. Like people say when they read the book. Like, oh my god, it's the scariest book and stuff. Mm. Um. I feel like when you're reading something, it's leaving it to your imagination mm-hmm. to create your own dreams. True. So you're going to read it. You're going to see it as scary as you want to see it. Yes. Right? How this can only be it? one way. Okay, the sink scene, for instance. That was... That was... <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. The sink scene. So we scene. just had a... Never mind. Oh, it's fine. The Beverly sink <laughs> scene, okay? Mm-hmm. When the blood... Yes, yes, That yes. to okay. me okay, yeah. was... Way scarier than anything I could have imagined. Mm. Like oh, that, wow. when I when I was younger, that was one that stuck with me when I saw the miniseries. Yeah. I will say this: if I saw this movie when That's I when I too, saw the part. miniseries, yes. yeah. this one would have fucked me up way, way worse nice. okay. than that miniseries. All it did was a balloon came out and it bubbled <laughs> and blood kind of gurgled. Mm. This was this was all of yeah. blood. All I think yeah. In the miniseries, didn't didn't oh, like like when the when the balloon popped, it was full of blood. Right, and it gargled a little. And it gargled, yeah. And that was about it, and the dad came in. That, that, so with certain aspects, they they took the things I couldn't even make in my head that would scare me, and, yeah. and they amped that up. Other parts were scarier to me in the way I was envisioning it than how they did it, but of course it's going to be that way. Some things are going to be scarier than I envisioned, and some things I'm going to envision is scarier than how it played out, you know? But I, I do think that when you say that people say, oh, the book was scary, I think it's because they're creating their own demons in their head, you know what I mean? And, um... So that can only scare yeah one no 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 true sure. because people always say that they're like oh the book's always better but well it's because your imagination is right. always it's, it's not because it's it's your imagination is better it's just different than what you see on screen right and a lot of people to uh, you know it's like are you gonna take what you thought in your imagination over the movie or are you gonna take what the movie did yeah. better and so like in that situation for you that was more extreme than what you imagined yeah so that's a great thing. I was so, that, so happy oh, that's I what I like I really like that science like when you see something like for me like Lord of the Rings for example I cannot for the life of me get into those books like I've tried reading like three times I cannot get into those Lord of the Rings books Lord of the Rings movies I freaking love I think they're amazing I think they're awesome and they're way yeah. better than what I ever could have imagined so um, will I read it? Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. It's because very long. I will say, I, as, as, as a fan of the book, it's but, very but hard it to get. But it is intriguing, like hearing your audiobook, like because yeah. he was playing the audiobook earlier. Oh, and, you have the uh, audiobook. I have it. Yeah. I, oh, I mean, in that case, I might give it a little. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so I was like, 
I could definitely see myself like listening to just that, listening. and I was like getting into it, just like hearing him. You know, the way Stephen writes, you're very graphic. Like you have that image in your. He'll he'll go three pages about how this microphone looks. The microphone that was extremely black. It was <laughs> blacker than the concrete. <laughs> Even blacker than you know, like he'll just go. <laughs> but it's a blue. No pun intended. But it's a blue mic. Let's talk about a red cup. <laughs> Redder than the concrete. Redder than the con- red. We can't say concrete. Redder than that. the. No. Oh, it. Look. I, I saw. Oh. It one second. One second, guys. I saw the closest. It's still thing. rolling. Is it still rolling? Okay. It should be. There. It's back. Yeah. Yeah. Let's um, get back into it. Let's get back into it. Yeah. Okay. So. Um. um yeah. So. Like. Like. Like, <laughs> like we said. He was uh, fanning himself in the movie. Though. Cause it was so hot as fuck. Up in I there. was. Were you hot? I was no, just no. Hot. yeah, he was he's fanning himself. Yeah. Normally, I'm like getting super hot in theaters too. I, 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 I hate it. So I hate high. getting super hot too. Yeah, I, I, was so hot. I didn't like, feel yo, super hot. In that I was starting to get mad because like a lot of times when I get when I get like hot, like I get start I start kind of get angry. Get, yeah, and like agitated. you get like short with people. And yeah, stuff. yeah, I'm like, it's too yeah, hot. Yeah. All this, like leave me alone. Yeah, but it was hot in that theater. Okay, that doesn't really have anything. I think you're just hot. Um. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean. Let's just be real. Let's just be real. Yeah. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. We all know the deal. But um. But yeah. So back. Back to. Yeah. So you're right about about like and the way Stephen writes, it's it's. I think that could be what makes it more terrifying. He's giving us so much description. Makes it more terrifying. Yeah. And and what we saw was Andy Muschietti, the director's version. That was his it. Machete. <laughs> Muschietti, actually. And Machete. Machete. And Machete. Machete. What else has yeah? What else has this guy made? He's made one film called Mama. That's it. And oh, I remember for, Mama. Dude, this is his... I, can't, his, I don't remember Mama. I think I it's saw a it. very weird movie. I also got to give a shout out to Andy. Weird. This All was right. his first freaking feature film alone. Who's Andy? Congrats the director, Andy. The director of this movie. Congrats He's got a future. Andy. Congrats, Andy. Andy. He's got a future. In my, the casting Andy. he did in this was just... He's definitely came okay. out since Mama. Let's Mama's talk about one thing. Let's talk about one of the actors. Yeah. Well, probably the most famous out of the kid actors is the Stranger Things. Richard. Finn. Richie. Did, did Finn we, Wolfhard. Richie. Did we know that he was going to be in the movie? Was he I knew. I knew he was going to be in the movie. I he was in the reviews. I saw yes. him in the interviews. He was. Okay, okay, to, now, yeah. okay. Now, to me, no offense to him, but like... It took kind of took me out of it because I knew that I knew of him in Stranger Things and I saw him in that world. So I'm just like, oh, this is like Stranger Things and it's the same. But he's character. also like the but characters but are a lot. To, like, to me, he's the character standout. Character is, yeah, like he's yeah. the what? To me, he's the standout. Like the standout, I, yeah. For me, it was different. I saw him. But, but and wait, I wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. Let me finish that thought. But I, yeah, what I did like is that he was wearing the glasses. I kind of wish he had a different haircut because I, I don't know. I feel like if he looks the same, the same. You know, in a similar Character setting, thing. you know. Do you want him to have a mohawk? Uh, like, what is yeah, doing? if he had a mohawk, that would actually be badass. <laughs> if he had a mohawk, that would be badass. Um, but that being said, though, he was funny. He was oh, very funny. He was hilarious. <laughs> Are you okay? What, what she, happened? She licked my lip. Oh, Lila did. It, and you liked it, didn't you? The, the, do it look like I licked your lip? Do it look Finn. like I liked it? He's not going to wash that lip ever again. Never. Never. Yes. <laughs> Finn was a ama- Finn was great. His he, he has so many quotable lines. This movie is full of quotable lines, by the way. And most of them came one line. Guys, but I can't you can't exactly. Yeah, like, so many quotes. With that. Go yeah, blow right. your dad, you mullet wearing asshole. Whoa, Two whoa. Middle fingers. that was a good one. Oh my yeah. god, you're lucky. No, no, no. You're lucky. No, no, no. Not- he said, he said, it's not what is that? You're lucky it's not a wang. Yeah, you're lucky we're not measuring dick lengths. Yes. When we're taking turns he's going into the. With his like, okay, to me though, it's like to hearing a ten year old kid. How old are they supposed to be? Twelve year olds. Right? It was real though. Yeah, no, I hear what you're saying. But no, no, I'm asking you. Since oh yeah, like days, 11, 11, 12. 12. These days, they all seem to be like 13. 13. They all seem to be like 13, 13 14, 15. They I seem like. About 13. And yeah. the girl, little like oh girl, like the Sophia. Sophia. What was what made me kind of uncomfortable was that like she was like the hot one, and then like yeah, the they were like trying to like and they were like uh, really trying to like yeah, yeah but it's faithful. It's and, like, faithful. It is definitely yeah. They, yeah. It's not yeah. This has a bio. Oh, I want to talk about my favorite scene. I want to talk about my favorite scene. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So. It might not be what you guys think it is, but or maybe it is, or I don't know. When she's at the pharmacy, she's distracting the other guys, and she's like, "Oh, you look like Clark Kent." Dr. Which the guy kind of did look like he did look like a older yeah. His name is Mister King, of, the uh, pharmacist. What's his name? Mister King. But, oh, yeah. Clark Kent. But but Clark they Kent. had this exchange where the pharmacy guy and her, like he's like a creepy guy, 
and it was such a good scene because it was yeah. uncomfortable. It's so and uncomfortable. Great and great, and yeah. I yeah. love that. I She's love got all that stuff, and, and that was like, yeah, she was really good. She does have a really good. Cute, in her eyes, like are she's just young. something about her. Yeah, she's got something about her. And then that guy was like, he was cast really well. He yeah. did kind of look like a knockoff Christopher Reeve. Um, and so, can I try on your glasses? <laughs> yeah, can I try on your glasses? That was my yes. favorite scene, and I was like, oh, shit, that, yeah, that was the sick. feels, yeah, the feels right? were great. Well, all those scenes actually, all the dad, like all the parent oh. scene. Okay, there was like three parent scene and. Um, yeah. child scene in a row yeah so it was like it, which I was kind of like oh gosh like all three of them in a row like first off we got homeboy with his uh, with a mullet and his dad and he's a police guy oh, oh, oh. all over the like I'm not saying it like this is very nitpicky but I do I do agree like I've, I've seen some reviews I do wish we had a little bit more to Henry and and the uh, bullies because in the book I mean they do some really bad stuff in the book in the book Patrick Hockstetter the one that was killed by the like, um, kids Remember mm-hmm. he was killed. Uh, uh, he, he was look. He had the flamethrower. That guy. Oh yes. Uh-huh. That guy. That guy was. Uh, he killed cats and like he mur- like he he would like dissect them alive. You know what would have been really creepy? That wasn't in there. What, what would have been really creepy is if the son. Peter, Peter would have been like. Or, Hell no. Remember when the son was aiming up for the cat? Yeah, he was. About if to- if he shot the cat, like that would have been that scene would have been. Crazy. It would have been really cutting edge too. They never, they never. It would have been never stuff. seen that kind of stuff. Yeah. By so the way, I, I think that like I, I didn't want. I'm like, please don't shoot the cat. Don't shoot the cat. Don't shoot the cat. Speaking of but that, in, inside you were like, shoot it. Uh, yeah. Shoot what about it. the Georgie shoot. scene? What do you guys think? Which Georgie? Which scene? Georgie? Scene? Oh, the, in the dream. It it was good. Like I think. Um, Dude, that setup. I gotta say the tone. What I liked set, about it, lady. What, what was oh. crazy? What was crazy about it? The, the Georgie scene, the Georgie the scene when Georgie scene, gets you know, killed in the scene. You'll float oh. too. You'll float too. Oh, well, I mean, I, we had already seen it. Thing is, yeah. Well, we but see we didn't see the, the whole better. thing. We didn't right. see, you know, what happened after Did it he, cut? like, when he goes You in. gotta say something. What? I was just gonna say, Jeremy keeps leaning out. Oh, okay. Not out of it, but, like, really close I'll, I'll be... Okay. I'll be I mean, like, yeah, it's, it's like, it's like, yeah, we had seen it, but actually I hadn't seen, like... You know what happens after yeah, what happens. cuts. Right. And, and again, to, goes and back to my gripe was that it, it I, we saw that scene before. But, but it was more. But, well, there was more. But what happened after was legit because yes. oh my God. the way its its face like scratches back into the teeth and he's like, cool. ah. and ah. yeah, you saw it. It's like they showed that. And yeah, he like eats his arm off. Like he eats his arm. He's crawling away. And Georgie, the Georgie's like the cutest kid in the world. Oh my like god! This they casted like, him. So the casting is like the movie. innocent kid, the innocent little brother. I'm like, why is this little brother? Because I'm the little brother. I'm the little brother, and I could have seen me. I could have been Georgie. You know? Yeah. I mean? like, could have been Georgie. You could have been Georgie. You know? We are so, all Georgie. We're all Georgie. Yeah. Inside. So. And he almost gets away. I know. He almost then, gets away. And then Pennywise. And, the la- and then they show the neighbor. What was weird is that they had the neighbor that was out there. They don't do anything. And they do nothing. And then, but they didn't see it. They weren't paying attention. Yeah. But it's almost like, why even show them if they're not even, I don't know. Yeah, that came from Kerry Fukunaga's (laughs) script and the, 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 um, Warner Brothers really wanted it in there still. They were like, they were like, we want you to do this script exactly. And Andy, I'm glad they didn't because I found that script. And And there's a lot. Oh my God. Dude, Stanley's a goldfish. Okay. Uh, uh, what do you mean Stan is a goldfish? Stan, the one really actor in there, is literally a goldfish. They just get rid of that character. And they change the Wait, name. What do you mean by it's a goldfish? In 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 the no, movie, in the movie, he is a goldfish. One of the one of the losers, goldfish. His name Stanley. Just uh, as like a little nod, and they got rid of Stanley because there's not much to his. Character. Which one's Stanley? Uh, the bar mitzvah, um, the one that didn't talk very much. Oh. The one with the curly hair. Oh, that guy. He was the worst. With the painting. Out of all of them. That, guy. that guy was the worst. I forgot about him. Yeah. I do, there is I'm there sorry, is a reason was, was there is a reason and you guys know why they didn't give him as much screen time and, and he, yeah. well, he didn't have a moment he, to shine he had a one, we he, don't see. he had a moment to shine and he just shimmered out the thing is he had this like one line and it was the one line that was like damn that was bad was really, like, we started laughing really really <laughs> It was cringy. It was cringy. But all the other lines were amazing. <laughs> we delivered. Yeah. Everything else was was great. Oh, and Ben. And then, then his bandages at the end were. were no, this is still going. Wrong. Okay, we're good. We're your, good. Your favorite scene, yeah, or moment, or your what you were saying. Well, what I, it wasn't my favorite moment. Oh, a but moment. A cool but. moment was at the well. So when homeboy with a mullet came, took the rope away, oh, yeah. and then what's his Henry name? Henry Bowers. Henry came up, and they had that fight, and then threw him over the well. And, and he, just fell, he just fell past them. 
Oh, that was really cool. Mm. Yeah. That was a sick thing. That mm. was really sick. Oh, and another really funny line was like when, what was it like, what did he say? It was Richie. When they go up to that well, like, no one's going to be making a wish out of this well. You're like, something to that effect. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't remember what did he line. say? He's like, he's like, no one's going to make a wish out of this well. I don't know. Because it, it looked like a really creepy, dirty ass well. My favorite line <clears throat> was when they were giving Bill. You remember that? Do you remember that? I don't no. know. It kind of said it in passing, probably. Uh, you guys probably didn't even notice. My favorite... Was there was, like, this one moment where Bill, um, the main actor that stutters all the time, he, they were giving him crap about going into the house, and he goes... And he, he, he just let out. He's like, I can't go home. My parents don't talk to mm, me. He yeah. was like, going into this house mm-hmm. is easier than going into my own home. Mm-hmm. And then I was just really... really I sad. Yeah, I feel that, like, too. Oh. Yeah. I was so emo- I almost cried you like at least sense. ten times in this movie. I'm not even kidding. That's not an exaggeration. And he did cry at least ten times. I probably did. That, yeah, and, that one really like pierced my heart. Well, like, and then you got Richie. What was funny end. though is like, when he was once. saying when he was saying I thought that I thought that same as I think I'm like oh he's not stuttering right now. Yeah. And then Richie said that like oh he didn't stutter once. Like, and and you were so used to laughing at that, but that was like a true like. Yeah. No, that that's what I was thinking. Like wow, he's not even stuttering that whole time. I liked him that character because you feel for that character because he lost Georgie. He goes back. They have the father scene real quick in the garage, and he's like, "Oh, don't!" He's just like, all the "She's hope. gone. You can't do anything. All the hope's gone." Yeah. Um. So I think I thought that was good. And they catch that beautifully from the book. In the book, Bill can't talk at dinner table. They're all too depressed about losing Georgie. He feels like he doesn't even exist. I do feel like there should have been another scene though, them at the dinner table or something. Like yeah. Showing because, his interaction with his mom. Yeah, and dad. with his mom and dad. Like he's yeah, they Georgie's gone. The book. And then they had like one exchange of, the, of uh, him and his dad. I don't even remember what did they even show his mom. That's, they didn't that's show what the mom I'm trying to say. Is they, 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 they the mom raised mom. over. That's one. You know what? Two gripes for me. That is a gripe. That's one big gripe. Is they the grazed grazing. over a lot. And this is great. For it's someone, great. for someone who's seen them, who's for someone who's read the book, they grazed over aspects. But you know what? They had to. This is only two hours and fifteen minutes only. to fit only. a one. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 Yeah. Two hours fifteen minutes is a good amount of time. It's a great amount of time. But not. it's a oh, one thousand ten page time. book. It's it's this thick. The book is this thick. Yeah. yeah. So you, uh, and 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 you can't. We saw it. It was proof. They they got everything they could get in there, it. and they had to graze over some moments. So I do not knock it for that. But I do. Sometimes you just gotta graze. You got, it's yeah. all about grazing. Am I right? Yeah. Like but this video, if you like grazing. They still got the point across. He was like, I thought we grazing agreed. anatomy. Take this down before my, your mother sees it. You know. Yes. Like, well, I thought we agreed on this, and you could see the see pain it. in the dad's in the dad like that we just lost Georgie. He's gone. Yeah. yeah. Very good. And and Ben, the love triangle between Ben... Oh, and her coming out of oh, the Oh, we didn't talk about Ben. It was, yeah, ben Ben's ben, great. Big Ben. See, Ben was my boy. Ben is my boy, <laughs> too. Ben Shout out to Jeremy Ray like, Taylor. I was rooting... Like, low-key, I was rooting for Ben the whole movie to oh, yeah, score to with, with Beverly. Like Bianca. Uh, uh, Beverly. Yeah, we all um, wanted to root for Ben. I was, I was rooting for Ben. For ben. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, I had sympathy for Sam... Pepper. Oh. Are you talking about uh, Bill? Bill is that Georgie's Bill older brother? Yeah, I yeah, had Denver. sympathy for you know for Bill, you know, seeing he's lost his brother, but like I was really rooting for Ben. Me too, actually. Yeah, to, to score with with De- Deborah, it's Barbara, Be- Beverly, <laughs> Beverly, Beverly, Deborah, Barbara, um, Beb. with with Beverly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then when you know, so it, I, there was a little whole little confusion thing with me, like when. It, you know, oh, the whole poem thing. Remember? Oh, yeah, my God. Nice, dope ass dope poem. <laughs> Straight from the book. It wasn't that, that dope. I wouldn't say it was a dope poem. That, that is an iconic quote. January Embors. <laughs> January Embors. Oh. That yeah, was like I feel it. I feel that's, that's, that's iconic. That's like, what, and what he I, ain't number 13 years old. So what, like what, he's what, writing like... Wait, can I quote it for you? Please. Your hair is winter fire. That's right. January embers. Yours. My heart burns there too. Mm-hmm. That's the poem. That's like the. That's like a lyric. That My a heart lyric? burns oh. there too. My heart burns there too. Is that a, January uh, embers. Ask Stephen King. January embers. It's a poem. It's, it's a poem. A, it's a poem. And it's it's a sent poem. to her, and the way that she finally revealed, like there was a moment where she was like. Uh, she mentioned she it. Like, wait, wait, okay, wait. Yeah, yeah, no, Screw Deborah. Screw yeah, Deborah. No, no, because Beverly. She knew that. She knew, <laughs> she knew that was 
from him. She knew that was from Ben. She did, whatever. and then she still went to homeboy that well, she, she liked. She still anyway. went to Billy. The like, same with girls. Never. Like, like, like this dude female. poured, poured Guys, his heart out. Sorry. You don't know it what happens in part two. I don't give a fuck about what happens. Sorry. No, they do. Well, I don't care about part two because I don't know. I didn't actually. I don't know what happens in part two. I didn't actually. So I'm talking about this is the common viewer standpoint right here. You can't. Yeah. This is the common viewer standpoint. Like screw. Beverly, Forget because Deborah. Ben did all this. He, you knew he really, really wanted you. Yeah. And he made this. Really he brought her out of the deadline. He brought her out of yeah. the deadline. He saved her life, and then she's still on. Her yeah, and then she's still going she's with old still boy. On her like boy. she's still on with old boy. These hoes ain't loyal. So it's true. It's true. You know what I'm saying? I w- I agree. I I did love the reveal though. What? I was just gonna say, and I feel like they connected way more than her and Bill. Yeah, yeah, they, they had did. So many moments where they connected. The moment in the beginning with the yearbook, and he was like, "Oh, that was like Kayla, that. by the way, who I wish was in this video, but <laughs> yeah, Kayla's very the camera girl. Thoughts, our camera girl. Yeah, chime in whenever. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's they definitely did have like this little connection and stuff like that, and I could even see, but they that had that Bev, connection. Uh, that Bev had. I felt bad. She had. I saw she. She saw When, it, when she they knew. met each other and they had the castle, like he had the castle, I was like, it was a cool castle. Yeah. And then he drops it, and it just I like. I thought that falls. was gonna be the start of the, the whole new summer. Kids on the- yeah, a little romance, Summer little love. new kids on the block post. Which, by the way, yeah, I wanted to ask this. I wanted to ask this. Like, what was you the know, first? What, screw Bev. what was the screw first? Bev. I'm, I'm done. I'm so done with Bev. Screw her. <laughs> what was the first <laughs> month that they started wrong. in the movie? What was the first month? It was I oh, probably God. June. Or something like that school. Was it June? Because yeah. what did it say? June's out. Yeah, school just got out. Remember the curfew? They yeah, because they just got out of school. Oh, I really like the whole curfew thing. It's remember the curfew. Someone started looting. But what I would have really liked is that if they really amped up the fact that they knew that it was here, that they didn't address it. I I liked how, uh, what's his name, said later, like, no one in this town is talking about this. We're going to go, we're going to find yeah. these missing kids. Bill, yeah. But you would think that it was something that, if it was all the town people, like, I would love to see something where they really hype it up, say, like, this is the year, Me too. don't go out, this is curfew, you know, like, it's they like really, let's forward. just say, yeah, it, they it's, really, the entity that is it, that's how I refer to it, it, it affects all of dairy, okay, it does, so all does of the, 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 the adults can't see the things that happen, it doesn't allow, like, like, the, the amount of murders that happen in that town, you, it would be all over the news, right, you would think, like, oh my god, look at how many people die in this town, don't go, it, the entity that is it, <laughs> does not allow the world, the universe. It's, it's. They didn't get into what it really is in this one. They're gonna do that in the second one, okay? Um, but it's not just a clown. It's not just shape shifting. It's a whole other universe type thing, mm-hmm. right? And um, I understand that. Yeah, and it does not allow Derry to basically break away from it. Like Derry is its own thing, and the adults. I, I just don't wanted see to it. talk about the Derry air. The dairy air. We should talk about. Let's talk about the dairy air. The dairy air. What's in that air? Because those adults were creepy. The librarian was creepy. The Some, dad was creepy. Dairy air. Something's in the dairy air. Da, the pharmacist Something's was creepy. Something's in the dairy air. The two. Oh, and when Ben's getting the H carved into his stomach, the, those two guys they just drive away. You know, they, like they didn't even see it, or they don't want to help. And also, screw them. Screw that whole little clique. Like I was so done with them. I feel like the bullies yeah screw yeah. them I'm yeah of course i'm glad you, you say that because if you're a book reader the bullies if you're a bully screw you yeah you want the, like this you wanted more from the bullies but from someone who hasn't read no, the book I want, no, you thought I want you didn't like more them. For them screw them i was hoping they would kill their asses good good i think they did though they got they that's, killed, that's what's one thing about down the well that's one thing that's not in this film that they shot that didn't they cut. kill that one homeboy in the well Oh well, that one guy I did die in the die. sewer. That one guy did die in the sewer. Well, he, didn't he die like, in the sewer? You're gonna have to see him part two. So he lives in the sewer. If you guys saw the mini, can I talk to you guys about that? Because if you see part two of the mini series, you'll know this stuff. No, I know. I, I have know. seen it. I, I still haven't okay. seen no, it. Okay, no. Remember so. the guy who's in the mentals, the the, uh, the psychiatric ward oh, who looks shit. up the moon. That's homeboy. That's homeboy. Oh. So shit. so that's why a lot of the people were Spoiler griped. Spoiler alert. Yeah. A lot of people. A lot of people that saw this had a gripe that. How are you gonna just ignore what happened to the bullies in this? Time? You know what I mean? Like we don't know what happened to him. You you think he would show like a little scene of Patrick? You know, they did show a little bit of what happened to that one Not guy Patrick, when he saw Henry. Um, when he got that his knife in in the mailbox. Oh yeah, he does kill his dad in the so book. That was a super little great. bit. That was like that his only. Was that was crazy. like his only. I like the kill them. That, that was like the only um 
interaction they showed what the bullies in it like or well, except for the other guys yeah the that's school. the problem is there's so many interactions in the book it seems like it, almost, yeah, it, was it, seems like it only happens to the losers club don't they say that like he's questionably just as bad as, as Pennywise. Pennywise he is like, people consider Henry. That Henry Henry Bauer's main bully guy oh the bully yeah he is He's. He ter- is. I mean he killed his dad yeah he yeah. That was well, a really he was Pennywise was that, possessed I mean, Bill killed her dad too or is he not? Did dead? he kill? No. Her? Did she kill? Her? Actually, it, looks, okay. it seems it seems that she Beth killed. Him? I don't know if he actually is because I haven't seen part right. two. Right. Uh, to be honest, but it seems as if Beth killed her. I'm not Beth killed I'm, her dad but, too. I'm not that. So I mean, who? It was kind of, it was self defense because her dad was. But she kind of went out of her way. Her dad she was. Was her she dad? Did, she did a lot. She, she did. All. She did do a lot. But, she she didn't have to do all that. But yeah, it just seems right. like she's killed. Well, okay, well, what got me was that, okay, what blood. got me was that, like, he was being was weird towards blood. her, and then she, like, runs into the bathroom as, as opposed to running out of the front door. Like, if well, I the bed, front door was locked. It had, like, three locks on it. Oh, it was locked? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't, he yeah, I didn't see that. Didn't in see the that. book, he's think, taken over. Oh, go ahead. Chime in. I was going to say, movie wise, yes, she did too much. It wasn't as much, like, self defense as. A little bit of self defense plus, like. In the books. He is a million oh times worse. Though. I should read you quotes from the book. You should say some. Say the. You should. You'd have to bleep this or cut it out. Okay. I wanted to eat your Beverly. I wanted to lick your so good, Beverly. I want to you. I want to you, Beverly. I want to your your until this is the shit that you do. I'm not kidding. Okay, definitely gonna bleep that out. But yeah. So I wanted to. That's why. I Just so you know. Just so you know. <laughs> just so you know. That's a little bit, and that's when Pennywise was taking over the dad. It wasn't oh, the dad. Oh, 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 the dad has Pennywise. Okay. Right now? So yeah. that makes sense. So the dad that in the sense. book, the dad. Do all the parents have pen, have um, in them? It is Derry. All the adults are affected by Pennywise. He has uh, control over it all. Uh, the adults can't help it. It's a bad place. The only thing that can defeat it, it is the group of the kids. kids. So it seems like the whole the tone arch. of this is like. Read Kids. the book and watch all the watch all the movies. Right, read so the you book can understand first. a little more. Like, yeah. Oh, the book is just it's, it's my favorite book. I, I I don't read books. It's an amazing book. It's a great. Okay. Read the book. There's so much more context to the story when you so read. much context. Um, but yeah, that's the kind of stuff you're uh, you're getting from. And yes, so the dad does have an affection over Beverly. She's scared of him. He's yeah. he's kind of creepy. Right. He always said things when he wasn't affected by Pennywise. He always said things like. You're my little girl, Beverly. He or and he was like, um, I worry about you, Bevy. I worry a lot. And like, why are you hanging out with those those boys? You know. And like, you're my little girl. And all those creepy things. But <laughs> Pen- because she's scared of her dad saying those things, Pennywise knows what you're scared of. Yeah. And he took him over and made him it say all that nasty of. stuff. And yeah, um, Pennywise is just a. He's a creep. Version of it. Can we talk? Bill Skarsgård did amazing. He I mean, did he's amazing. He did his thing. That was dope. I liked it. He. Yeah, um, people were saying Heath Ledger Joker, and I was like, yeah. Like, he did take Tim Curry's performance, and he made it his own. And he, by he the way... Seem, he seemed like a different Pennywise. Than yeah, Pennywise. very animalistic. Uh, I liked how, how tall he was. Like, there was that huge. one part where he's tall, and then he has the claws, and he's like... And he's yeah. like, oh my gosh. Like, that was crazy. And, and I've been wanting to tell you guys this. When he contorted, he, he took contortionist class. He came out of that. He was really contorted. Really? Yeah, he worked with a contortionist to really get into the role, and when he was up in that in the um, fridge, that's Patrick Hoxtetter's fridge, by the way. I don't know um, who that is. Patrick Hoxtetter was the guy who uh, the guy with the flamethrower, who died long. Oh black yes, hair. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the kids. Anyway, yeah, that was his refrigerator, and he kept the cats that he killed and the and like all the animals Ooh. in that fridge. So I don't know how much I believe that he was actually contorted. Yeah, well, I will say it was digitally enhanced. Okay, he was doing the contorting, <laughs> but yeah, he didn't contort all the way around, untwist his body. Of that course. was digitally enhanced for right, sure. Okay, but he really did oh. most of the like he came out of the uh, oh, come the fridge. Way. Come this way. Oh, he came out of the fridge, actually contorting, and then they did the rest. Mm. You know, they told him to do a couple moves, and then mm. they put the twist in his body. Mm. I really like the projector. Scene like when he comes out of yes. the back door. That was, that was cool. He was like, huge. "There's more to that scene but, than but, we saw." But, in the but what's crazy though is that is that like he charges with this huge being. All the kids are there. Like, why didn't he bite a kid's head off right there, right then and there? That's a, maybe he wasn't well. Ready to him. He, his strength is dependent on how scared they are, and they were pretty damn scared there. They were really scared. so. I can. Really scared. I but um, what happened? 
Wasn't there a line after that scene when the garage door opened up and then like one of the kids was like, did you see how we were still alive? Or, ah, maybe I'm wrong. I feel like they made a point as to why it didn't. You, might, oh, you okay. actually, you may have a point there. I just don't know what it was. I feel like I one of the kids said, was, did yeah. you see it didn't get us because we're, um, you were not scared. Or, I don't know. Oh, there was, there was, was that, what's his name? The meds? Oh, funny line, funny line when he's like, when he has the meds and he's like, this is, these are gazebos. <laughs> the, the placebo, is it, what is it called? Placebos, placebo effect. Yeah. And because, it was. Yeah, it was. In yeah. the book, it's tap water. <clears throat> Because his uh, mother makes him makes him have allergies. She's like, you're going to get sick. Could, that was really good. They, I, I feel like they could have touched on that a bit more, though. I mean, they had... I agree. The, with, the, with the mother, it, like, we got it from the kid. The kid was, like, always talking about all these horrible things that could happen to him. But I wanted to see more of the mom exactly. and him. More. I more. needed more yeah, out of yeah, this yeah, film. More. They, they touched so that we know, we know where they're going. We yeah. knew the mom. We knew the mom was turned her son into a hypochondriac. We knew she was a hypochondriac. But and we we knew all that to get the story, but just they just touched it. It's grazed on it. They just grazed on it, and we just needed more. This 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 needed to be like a four hour thing to do justice. But I understand it couldn't be to tell everybody's stories. Yeah, to tell us, and so they did a phenomenal job with the time frame that they had to get the story across. Um, Bravo. Bravo. Well, okay, so it's been good. We've been pretty thorough. I think we we I think we covered all the bases. Final all in thoughts. all, final thought. Final thoughts. Final thought. Um, once again, I thought the movie was really, really good. I enjoyed it from the beginning to the end. Um, I uh, we, we, should we do ratings? Yeah, yeah. I give this movie an uh, an eight. Reason being, well, I, I would have given the movie a nine. Yeah. So in order to get but a why nine, not why not a ten? I want to say out of ten, out of yeah. ten. Yeah. No, so no, I eight, so out why ten. an eight? Why did it get two two points in the dot? That's what that's what I'm okay, getting okay, to. Cool, cool. If you'll let me. So why um, did it, so tell me? For the reasons that I discussed earlier, at like basically where, um, oh actually I did not talk about this where um, well you kind of did. There okay. were a couple parts that I kind of felt like that kind of dragged on. One mm-hmm. part is in bit. specific. I can't really remember. It was around like a third of a third of the way of the movie. I kind of felt like, okay, I'm kind of getting a little bored here. Hopefully some more scary stuff happens soon or something. Or maybe somebody else encounters their, their it ghost thing yeah. or whatever. So there was a, there was that definitely that main part where it kind of started to kind of feel like, okay. A little bit. All right, let's get to some more action. Got to get a little more action. It's yeah. because there's so much action. Because so there's so much action. action. There is a lot of action. Yeah. It was so, right after another. Just if, like, yeah. if it was just like boom, 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 the whole through movie through, definitely easy yeah, not. Yeah. Easy not. There was, if, there was a headless boy. There was one. If, yeah, there if it, it would have been even more scary for me to the point where I'm just like, okay, this was like really, really creepy and also really, really entertaining. If it had been more scary, um, an easy 10. Yeah. 10. That it's such perfect. a good movie. Wow, perfect movie. Damn. Yeah. Um, you it, know, out of my experience of movies, because I mean, like, this is definitely one of the best like horror movies, one of the best. Yeah. That I that I that I've seen. Yeah, I'm definitely. Um, okay, so one thing I didn't get to touch on, cinematography was amazing. The guy mm. who did the cinematography, absolutely amazing, dude. It's not I can't want, I can't stress yeah, that. Yeah, it's not. To me, it was awesome. But it was good. Not same. I thought it, I think you got to rewatch it. There was a. Above scene of Georgie like running shot, down. Oh my god, yeah. The, I like the shot, the above shot when they're about to jump off the. Into oh the yeah, lake. beautiful. And, there was drone like, mm. scenes from ab- oh, above. Yeah, I like this. Not drones. only that, there was a scene where um, Stanley is seeing a painting. It's crooked on the wall. Mm-hmm. It has a Dutch angle, right? Which is a, yeah, yeah, I like that. And oh, then yeah. he straightens yeah. it, and the whole like thing turns. That was I cool. like that. Yeah. Those really moments cool. alone, best cinematography I've seen. I you call me biased because I'm so hyped for that for the movie. True. I thought it was, and the guy who did it did you old boys. You're right. Very oh, yeah. Wow. He did old boys. He did old boys. Oh, that's snap. the same cinematography. Oh, snap. and it now showed. That just it. And it showed. It sh- did show. Uh, now. Didn't I, I gotta it. watch it again. Did it show? I really did gotta it watch show? it. It did. It showed. It did it show? Show, show me. It showed. I. It showed. You can't exactly. Okay. I gotta watch it again for it sure showed. to get like you know. To get the full... Okay, out of but, 10. But out of, okay, so for me, because I am so hyped and it did live up to my expectations, it's a solid 9 for me. And it's only not a 10 because I need more. 
Because you need. More. I need more. So you want it to be longer, or you want it? To be longer. Yes, I need you. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't like that they just stronger. grazed over the bully. Mm. But I, also, if I didn't read the book, add add, add the grazing into my. Factor. Okay, yeah. yeah. Grazing. Yeah. That's a, that's also another part of me giving it eight. They didn't build it up enough. Yeah, I want a little. Certain more parts. Me. Other parts were built up perfectly. Good payoffs. Really good. Pay- this was the only movie I've ever been in where I heard clapping three times. And at, at the end, sure. people sure. clapped at sure. the end of this movie. And that's something special in my opinion. Uh, okay. Yeah, so 9 so out of 10. So 9 out of 10. Solid 9 out of 10. It could be even better if I watch it again or see the deleted scenes. If they give me what I want, I'll, I will make it a 10. That's saying But no, no. If you see the deleted scenes, that doesn't count towards your rating because this is the film. It's that's true. extra self that you're seeing. Well, no, no, no. If you if you see director's cut extended edition, then that's that can't that can't that can't. Um, you're talking about the theatrical. Influence your your take on the actual movie that came out. So you would say the actual theatrical release is a nine. Perhaps the yes. director's cut could get a ten. Could get a ten, perhaps. And and yeah, and uh, that means I don't have a lot of tens. Yes. So hit everything. So laughing, eight, nine, crying, scared. All right, so. So for me, I'm a bit more critical just because I've seen a lot of this before. I've seen the miniseries. And he's making a movie. And I'm making a movie. It's called Rideshare. By the way, it's it's a sponsored by Rideshare, this whole thing. <clears throat> yes. Thank sponsored. you, Rideshare. Go yes. see it. Go see the movie. October 13th. 13th. When is it coming out? October 13th. October 13th. Friday. Friday. What day is that? Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday 13th. 13th. It is it's a popping. litty. We got D-Sharp he's in, in the movie. He's in it. I'm in the movie. I make a little he's cameo. Movie. It's lit. He makes a little cameo. I made the poster. <laughs> and he made the poster. You guys check out the poster. Not to, not to overhype this thing, but this is a movie that you guys want to see. Rideshare. Yeah. If you thought it was Market good, you got to see Rideshare. Follow Rideshare on their socials. Rideshare movie, at Rideshare movie, wherever. For sure. Like, uh, this is a movie that you guys want to see. Yeah. It's Very gonna, original. It's going to change the way you think for. about certain things. And it's going to freak you out. Yes. Beware who's And, coming. yeah. Wahaha. Yes, if you saw well, it, yeah. this is a must see. If you yes. liked it, this is a must see. Yes. So but, cool. So you know what's crazy? Before we saw it, um, I saw a the first cut of Rideshare, what we're talking about, and that's all I can think about when we're watching this movie. Maybe because I just did it, you know, we're watching this movie and uh, I'm just pumped. I'm pumped to release this, I'm pumped to polish it up to get it done and, and release it out to the world. Um, but yes, uh, <clears throat> Had I just seen this movie, I would give it a probably a higher rating, probably closer to a nine. But since I've seen the miniseries, I've I've mm. I've heard of what's going on. Like, Too familiar for to you? me. It's 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 a very familiar. It's not mm. okay. anything I've really haven't seen before. Okay. But that being said, it's better than most movies that are out today. Uh, and I can't think of a better movie out right now. Yeah, me neither. Uh, for it, only so. solid numbers. Only whole numbers. Only whole. Seven point five. I said only whole numbers. So that so eight or seven. Can we please be nice and say eight? <sighs> <sighs> deleted scenes might make it an eight. Who knows? The, I can know. This, hey, this, this is my this is my shit. This is my shit. I'll give it a solid. I'll give it a release. Hey, I'll give a solid number, which is three out of four. Oh, three there you go. Three out of four. Solid three out of out of four. That's good. Solid movie. You know. Uh, yeah. That's all. So I'm gonna say, go see it. We're so seeing. Go see, see, it. see it. It's worth the money. So to piggyback off of that, with me, I only I never read the book. I only saw the first part of the um, miniseries. The miniseries, and I wasn't really paying that much attention to that. So a lot of stuff was completely new to me. I'm like, oh, that. How, so you're saying, so, oh, so that's you, I'm kind of yeah. coming in fresh, yeah, like, kind of somewhat fresh. So I knew you give it a fresh the eight. gist of yeah, fresh like yeah. A, a solid eight, like I because I only knew just. You know the literal gist of the of the film. Of the yeah. Movie. So general gist. Yeah. General gist. The general gist. The general, the general, general gist. gist of it. Of it. The general gist of it. Good All score right, too, Benjamin Wellfish. Good score. Great score. I give it an eight. Kayla, Kayla, Kayla give it an eight. eight. Yes, of course. Cool. Give it eight. So eight, why why eight, not why not nine, a ten? Nine, I wanted seven. more. Pennywise. Grazing. Similar. Hmm. Similar. Why does that build up? I wanted more build up. But, I wanted more suspense. A lot of stuff just kind of happened. Happened. But I wanted to see a little bit more, build, yeah. more because, a little bit more character development. Because but I can understand there's only so much you can do in, in so little. Yeah, time. because of that. Because, because there's of that. so much context. Yes. You want to touch things. They touch fit on things. a lot in this film, to be honest with you. Yeah, they did. You can't to go in it. depth. You gotta with be everything. fair. True. So they did a good job with like evening out. What evening they it out. 
Yeah, it was very well balanced. I feel like they put a lot of time into like, we need this scene, we need this scene, we need this scene. How can we do it, making it flow and not be too, you know? Mm -hmm. So props for having. Props. Yeah, props, guys. Props. props. So go see it. Props. It's worth it. Go see Rideshare. Instant classic. October thirteenth. Instant classic for it. Um, and Rideshare. And Rideshare. I want to watch it again. Yeah, I'm going to see I, it. I want to watch it again too. I would, too. Love to watch it I would like to see it again. Yeah. Um, and you guys yes, come with. subscribe to D Sharp. Over here. Who, Who is, is D Sharp? Sharp on all your social media? YouTube, I am D Sharp. And then we've got Jeremy Olinsky. Jeremy Olinsky on every social media you can imagine. At Jeremy Olinsky. Check out his stuff. These guys are awesome. Yes. Check them out. Thank you. And, and Tremaine Hayhoe. Yes. And then me. And also Tremaine Hayhoe. The man who brought you this content. Amazing, amazing fella. Made it fella. all possible. Made it all possible. All thanks to you guys. He's just, he's just a good guy. Aww. Group yes, hug. Thanks, thanks to me. Group hug. Group hug. Thanks, thanks to, to D. Thanks for making this all thanks possible. Thanks to D for making this yeah. all possible. Thumbnail looks scary. Thumbnail. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right, guys. Check it out. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 We're back. We just want to make a quick point for before we went. It's a really good point. I wanted to say, so when the projector scene comes out, when when uh, when it is huge coming out of the projector, I'm just like, well, why doesn't he just bite the kid's heads off right then and there? And this is why. Yeah, so basically um, Pennywise thoroughly enjoys terrorizing the kids. So he's going to play with his food, per se, as much as he possibly can. Because as in the book, I believe they say, you taste much better when you're scared. It's tenderizing the meat. So that oh. when he finally gets to... That's what he said. Tenderizing the meat. He likes to play with his food. And that's why he doesn't take the, the moments that he can to kill them. Yes. He's using it to build up their fear, but it doesn't work, does it? It doesn't. They get that, does and they defeat it. They defeat it. Using that against it. By coming together. Because it's a coming-of-age film. It is all about coming together and coming of and, age. And exactly. facing your demons and, and conquering them. And we need to point that out because uh, if you, a lot of you have that same thought, why isn't that's why. And it's pretty important. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. That makes a lot more sense. We're kind okay. Of okay, we're going to go now. Okay. okay. Bye. 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 With the baby arm. Subscribe. With the baby Comment arm. Like, oh, yeah, the baby arm. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that Pennywise was held the baby arm and waved it. That was great. Okay, okay. bye. Bye. Love Just me. remembered. Ooh. Um, yes. Why come? Why come? Why come? Why come? Why come? What? Why come? It fun. never actually like ate all those kids that were floating around in the. Uh, what's oh yeah, what was the deal with that? Like, so, so, so are they just like? Why did he never do anything? Are they does dead? he actually eat the? Does he actually eat the kids? And or, is that what he means by you'll float or too? Does yeah. It, like, yeah. The, is that the, what it means by you'll float Those are kids too? that were caught in his dead lights. So they're dead. So, yeah, basically, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're floating up there. He has to feed every 27 years. What's the so difference he's between those kids and Georgie? He's compiling an amount to last for 27 or, years. Or, or, De or but, Dev or, no. or Barb. What's, or, or Bev. Barb. Bev. What's the difference between those kids that were floating around up there and Georgie or Bev or Barb? Beverly. 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 Wow. <laughs> Beverly Hills. To me, it seems I haven't also I have not finished reading the book, but from what I know, um, he and he has he feeds and then he hibernates for twenty seven years. So, but he feeds a lot. Like he has to kill tons and tons of kids in order to eat and live that long. So I think uh, when when he see, when he gets you in the deadlight, you float. That, and that was not... I don't know if that was in the book or not. So he yeah, was planning was to eat them? He was just like... Planning to eat them, saving them for... Later. That's my... That's how I took it. Oh, wow. Is that they're floating up there waiting... What's the whole thing? eaten. What's that? Also... Oh, Kayla, Kayla had to say something. Um, you had to mention um, when Bill said that's why he didn't eat Beverly because she wasn't afraid. Yeah, he made, a, he made a point uh, to, to mention that he, he wasn't able to eat Beverly. He got her in the deadlights. And I want to mention... In the book, The Deadlights, anyone who's ever seen The Deadlights goes instantly insane. Right. In a mental hospital. Oh. Immediately insane, and they never come out of it. No one's ever come out of The Deadlights. 